they have no wine. Pray with me. Come Holy Spirit, enlighten and bless everything that I think, say and do, to be able to live according to the teachings of God the Father and God the Son. Those who know me well know that they have no wine is my favorite phrase of all those that appear in the Bible. Every time I think or repeat they have no wine, I experience how Mary teach me to have faith, infinite trust, persevere in my prayers, be generous, kind, humble, sensitive, and obedient. This phrase, they have no wine, prompts me to be a better person. Just as Mary intercedes for the bride and groom in Cana, she also intercedes for us. I know that there are people who say, why should I have an intermediary? I speak directly with Jesus and with God. I just say that unity is a strength. Mary is my ally and she's willing to intercede for me and for you. We just need to ask her and she takes our request to the Lord. Have you ever heard the saying, the Virgin Mary has done the miracle, she's the health of the sick, the consolation of those who suffer, the help of Christians? Mary obtains miracles for us. The miracles are performed by God through our faith. Remember that, just as at Cana, Jesus does not deny her anything. Then Jesus said to the disciples, Have faith in God. I tell you the truth. You can say to this mountain, May you be lifted up and throw into the sea, and it will happen. But you must really believe it will happen and it have no doubt in your heart. I tell you, you can pray for anything, and if you believe that you have received it, it will be yours. But when you're praying, first forgive anyone you are holding a grudge against, so that your Father in heaven will forgive your sins too. God is Father, God is good, Good is everything he does. Mother, in you and in Jesus, I believe and trust. Amen.